I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question based on Venn diagrams. You need to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the following. So we have six parts to this. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now first one here is intersection of A and B is a null set. Then we have intersection of A and B as set A union of A and B being set A, union of complementary A, complement B, you have to show in a Venn diagram. You have to show in a Venn diagram what is intersection of A and B and its complement and then not A union B. That is also how we can read it. Perfect. So that is the exercise for you. You can pause the video solve this question and then check with my solution. Correct? So let's begin. The first one here is A intersection B is equal to a null set. It means what? It really means that if I'm taking any universal set S in that I have two sets A and B which nothing in common. So basically these are my two sets. This is my set A and the other set B is like this, correct? And they have nothing in common. So this is set A and this is set B with nothing in common. That is how you represent A intersection B as a null set, correct? Now the next one here is about intersection of two sets being a set itself. How is that possible? That really means that we have a bigger set and within that we have a smaller set. Now the smaller set we want this time is, is A, right? So that is how it is. So in this case intersection of A and B is A, right? So that means A is right there, right? So A is a proper subset of B and this is B for you and this is the universal set. Does it make sense to you? Correct. So when A is a proper subset of B, then it is possible. Is it okay? So we can say A is a proper subset of B. The next one here is union of A and B is A. It means what? When the union is A, that means A is a bigger set. It holds B in it, right? So, so the bigger set here is A and the smallest set is B, right? So in this particular case, this set outside is A, therefore the union will be A, correct? And this inside set is B. Is that clear to you, correct? So that is how you are going to share it. Now let's look into the, the last three here, which could be slightly more tricky. So let me make a bigger box here, and then we'll try to think about it. So we have two sets here and we need to show the union of complement of A and B. Now let me also write a condition for this set. Okay, so let me just mark it like this. Since there could be many variations to this, is it okay? So I'm assuming that for D, E and F, we will assume that a intersection B is not null. Is that okay? So that means there is some intersection. And based on this assumption, I will sketch these. Actually, that was a part of the question, but I missed to uh, highlight it. So, so let me just make some boxes now here. You take your time to now sketch uh, Venn diagrams representing the given sets. So first one. We want union of not A and not B. So how do you sketch it? And we are also given that these two sets have something in common. So we have one set here with the other set something in common. Perfect. So that is the status. So I'm just going to sketch these for the time being and you need to shade them. I have an extensive video on shading such uh, sets. So you can look into those if uh, the concepts are not very clear. So what I've done here is basically 
uh, this is my sample I mean the universal set a and B right so universal set I could write s or normally you could also be written I mean sorry this is B u for universal right so a and b right so let's do the very first one which is we are looking for union of not a and not b so when i say not a not a means all this is not a correct even this is not a correct all this is not a and what is not b not B is outside B, right? So, so that means outside B, not B will be kind of like this, right? All this is not B. So everything outside. So what do you really see here is that everything apart from intersection of A and B should be shaded. You get the idea, right? So that is how we are going to shade this time. So union of complements of a and b is is a set which includes everything except for the intersection of a and b you get the idea right so so that is what it is i mean correct so it includes everything except for this small portion which is which is intersection of a and b Okay, so that is how you actually use, you get this one. So, so the union is, you can say, A intersection, B is complement. Okay, so that is how you see it. Okay, the next one here is, we do intersection and outside that. So means, in this case, the intersection of A and B is this small thing here, right? But we want to have a complement. So that means everything outside. Do you see that portion? Everything outside, correct? Uh, exactly what we did earlier, right? So, uh, I mean, I always miss this. So not this, not this portion. That's what we are trying to say. But everything outside, is it okay? So that is what it is. Do you see this is equivalent to the previous one? So this is also equal to not A, the complement of A, union, complement of B. This is very important to understand. You get the idea. Correct? Now the last one here is to shade not the union of A and B, right? So the union of A and B is right there. So we don't want that portion. But everything apart. So outside, do you see? This? So outside is this. So I hope you find this exercise interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Now, last three examples, we have assumed that we do have something in the intersection, right? And then, based on that, we have really sketched it. You could sketch scenarios where there's nothing common between these two, and then you could do all that. Perfect. That is also possible. Anyway, so I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to share my videos with your friends, and if you like and subscribe to them, then be great. Thanks for watching, and all the best.